by the State Department citing executive privilege. All this as Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy of South Carolina is laying out how he will lead a House Select Committee tasked with getting to the bottom of what the White House knew and when, among other things. Our Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris is live in Washington with the very latest for us now. Catherine? Well, thank you, Jen, and good morning. The new chairman of the House Select Committee on Benghazi says the State Department investigation, known as the Accountability Review Board, or ARB, was deficient and not the final word on the terrorist attack. He says the co-chair's former ambassador, Thomas Pickering, and retired Admiral Mike Mullen did not interview the principal witness, then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. And the new chairman telling Fox News this morning it was a mistake the House investigation will not repeat. How can you run an investigation without talking to the person in charge? So the manner in which we talked to her, I can't tell you this morning. I can tell you this. Anyone who has evidence or information is going to be talked to. Fox News is learning new information about that seven-page email that is being withheld by the State Department citing executive branch deliberations. It's a Fox News story from September 27, 2012, that concluded the intelligence community knew Benghazi was terrorism within 24 hours. On that email chain, based on publicly available documents, is the then uh, Deputy National Security Advisor uh, Dennis McDonough, not uh, Tom Donilon you see right there, uh, then uh, at the time the White House Counterterrorism Advisor John Brennan, who's now the CIA Director, and uh, Ben Rhodes, uh, Principal Aide to the President and Head of his Strategic uh, Communications. And so this report from Fox News would run counter to what the Obama administration was attempting to put out there as their position. And there was a contrarian news report that didn't align with their position, and they were clearly reacting to it in, uh, in a way that uh, would help to reinforce their position. We do not know what's in that seven-page uh, email exchange, other than it did go to very senior levels of this administration. Uh, what's worth noting about the documents that were released as a result of that court order is that some of the redactions do not have those notations that you often see on the side of these FOIA documents, and that import is important because the State Department is legally required to explain what the exemption is for blacking out that information, and in, in a number of these emails, that exemption uh, is not stated. Jenna. Interesting. Catherine, thank you.